G'day everyone, Lucas here from the Aussie Gamers Experience and today I have a special video with a good friend of mine, Brian from Sin Spaces. Welcome, thank you very much. Thank you and uh, nice little gaming room you got here. It's very cosy. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the first time that uh, we've shared a video experience together. It, it is, we, we have, I have visited your joint before but we were just not really planned on to do a video or we had nothing in mind. Um, but today we are telling a story. So. Yes, it's a very special video that we've got for, for you guys today. And it all started off with a little bit of an anonymous contact that Brian received in relation to something that a lot of uh, his fans and his followers and mine are really interested in. Tell the story. How does it start off? How far back do we go to the very start? I, I, all right, I well, yeah. we don't need to go back to conception. <laughs> so we, we get that bit um i get a tip off on facebook to say that uh, there's some seagull statues in a junkyard so i make my way out with just no sort of preconceptions as to what i'm going to film or what what's going to happen on that day i just film not even a minute worth of footage came back home thinking holy crap what have i got here so there was a sonic statue uh and a sally what is she, a squirrel? I, I don't even know. I have no idea. She's, she used to be part of the uh, Sonic lore, but uh, since the, what, 2000 era, Sega have no longer acknowledged her existence. But anyway, because she's dead in a junkyard Yeah, somewhere. she's in a junkyard. So, um, yeah, the, these are from the old Sega world that used to be here in Sydney. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the statues just went missing. No one knew what became of them. And now what almost 20 years later they've resurfaced so that didn't go so well though um it went well for my channel i got on the front page of ign kotaku even did a story on me um and i i've had a lot of people uh recognize now my channel because of that one video that i did i'll throw a link to that video in the description so uh moving on uh, it's been almost a year now actually no it's been a year um I get on my Facebook uh, page a direct message from a random. I, I still to this day don't even know this person's name. And they just sent me a message saying, uh, are you interested in Sega World merchandise? <laughs> yeah. Understatement. Just, just, just a little bit. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, have you got some merchandise? And then he replies, well, yes, uh, I don't, but I know of where there are some statues. And I'm like, did you say statues? So I was not sure if this was bogus or if it was someone just, you know, taking a mickey. So I said, look, you send me photos and uh, I'll then see what we do, but where we go from there. And he sent me this. So look, essentially what we're going to do is we wanted to organize a heist. Is that right? We're going to steal them. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So now that we've got the uh, photo, it's got my attention. And he also said that there should be another statue there somewhere. So that original photo only shows you Sonic lurking in the backyard. So I've decided to drop by your place today and get you to come out with me and take a look. This is what we found. So it was quite impressive once we actually got to the location, seeing this, the, the Sonic statue just stares at you. It's quite visible from the street. Unfortunately, we can't tell you where it is because we don't want to bring anything upon this person. So we're being, you know, uh, a little bit uh, cryptic, Cagey. a little bit about uh, where the location is. But it is visible from the street, and that's where those videos and photos were taken from. Uh, so no trespassing or anything that like that involved. But it was nice to see Sonic's statue was there, and it was... Well, it was in better condition than what we've seen in the past from the junkyard. Um, but what else was there? But the, the, the thing that was really bizarre, 
Yeah, there was a, a, a Knuckles statue hiding behind the shed there. We couldn't get a real good look at it, as you can see from the video and the photos, mm. but it was definitely there. And there's a story about a... Do we want to tell that story? Yeah, tell it. Why not? About Knuckles. All right, so I've never told this before. So uh, when going to see the Sonic and also Sally statues, talking to the junkyard owner, he told me that originally he had three statues. And I'm thinking, well, who was the third one? Obviously, it's got to be Tails, right? And he goes, no, it's a pink statue. Um, yeah, it was Knuckles. He used to keep it out the front of his junkyard. And he said that one day someone flogged it. So someone stole it. Sorry for you, Americans. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. We sort of theorised that possibly this could be the stolen Knuckles. I, I honestly don't think so. My gut feeling is that it's not. And it, if it is, good! <laughs> That other guy's an ass. I'm glad you flogged it off him. Don't know if it is, but anyway. I, I, I don't think it is, but I'm not really, you know, really stressed or worried if it is the same one. He did the Sonic Knuckles. Sorry, he did the Knuckles uh, statue a favour. So, yep. where do we go from here? Uh, from here, we, well, we've got to talk, I just want to mention before we move on about the extra weird statue that was there. Oh, yeah. uh, a little bit further on was a Ronald McDonald statue. He's guarding him. That's what I'm thinking. He's guarding the yeah, other ones. No, you know him. what's guarding them? That other dog that took a dump right in front of poor Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> there was a dump, There were two massive big did guard dogs. Did you get that on here. film? I did. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> there was two massive big guard dogs. They were uh, Rottweilers and. Uh, they were guarding that yard quite well. Oh, there was no way I was going to step foot. I but, thought when I first saw the Beware of Dog signs, I was thinking maybe they've got a Labrador or something. Nah, these dogs, um, they could be friendly. I'm just not willing to bet my arms. They, they look like they meant business. But yeah. anyway, so we didn't go to the front door because these dogs were there. And um, yeah, Ronald McDonald, Sonic and Knuckles were all <laughs> hanging out. Uh, yeah, just... Having a positive. In, in much better condition than uh, what we've seen previously totally. at the junkyard. However, nobody was home. It didn't look yeah. like there was anyone home. There were no cars in the driveway. It didn't look like there was any movement. We didn't want to go through the front yard and knock on the door with those dogs there. So that's about as far as we got. But uh, I don't know. We'll look into some alternative methods, mm. maybe reapproaching on another occasion to see if we can at least speak with the owner. And see if they'll let us get some close-up shots mm. or, Brian, you want to buy it? My goal is to uh, see if we can get them purchased, yep, because I want to I want to get them restored, okay? So that's step one. What do I do with them after that? We'll worry about that then. I, I, my first goal is to find out if this guy is willing to sell them. Uh, and if that is the case, then watch this space. We'll, we'll take it from there. I don't really have an ultimate goal for these statues. Uh, I just want to save them first and then concentrate on what to do with them after that. Well, there you go. That is how we spent <laughs> our morning. This is how uh, we spent our days off. Yeah, that's what we have to show for it. So we've got these awesome statues that are there. And uh, I don't know, I guess we'll keep you posted if uh, anything progresses from there. I'm hoping this guy's approachable. I really am. I hope so, yeah. because the last guy was a douchebag. He's not approachable. You know, it'd be nice to have someone go, yeah, come and have a walk. You can take photos. That'd be real, if he was, like, you know, human. Yeah. He'd be a nice guy. <laughs> if not, then the next the video last guy, he, he will be a He accused me of um, crying. You did. Uh, you, inside. It wasn't you. Inside. It was the, the lady who told me that you cried. Oh, was it you that they said that to? Yeah, they said that to me, yeah. <laughs> and they said to um, IGN reporter, said, has he learnt his lesson yet? <laughs> what lesson? <laughs> what? I'm not, I, no, obviously no. I, I reckon they didn't like you. They were nice to me. In that bit I don't get. You're going to have to talk to me more about that off camera. Because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> All right, well, that is all that we've got for you today. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, you can check out Brian's uh, YouTube channel, which is Synth Spaces. There's links in the description down below, so you don't have to type anything out. Just click away. And also, don't forget to follow him on Twitter as well. And SynthSpaces.com. Oh, and also, he's got another alternate video based on this as well. So if you want a little bit more or different information and have a look at what he filmed, because he's got, I think, a better quality camera than I do, uh, check that out. There'll be a link in the description. There's links to everything that you, you could possibly Watch imagine. Watch this 
And well, watch both of our spaces. Yeah, <laughs> watch this since space is. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Until next time, I am Lucas and I will see you. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, go, not the quite so bizarre, but we also saw sort of hanging behind the shed there <laughs> was a, it was a, a knuckles statue. There was the. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did you even touch up there? No. <laughs> Ghost in this place. All right. <laughs> keep wow. going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. I just got an Xbox deodorant can thrown at me. <laughs> maybe it's giving you a hint. Oh, dear. Bloop, blooper reel. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The ghosts think I stink. Uh, 